Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome to my story. So, today is the last day of August. And I'm going to show you all the books that I got in the month of August. Spoiler alert, they're about 19. Yeah, I have a bad habit. I have a, a hoarding problem. Um, <laughs> anyway. First off, I'm going to show you the book that I'm reading right now. It is, of course, The Titan's Curse. Judge me if you want. I'm a bit of a slow reader going through it. Um, it th that video will be up this coming Friday. But starting on the books that I got this month, I have, like I said, 19. My husband has said that he is going to limit me on how many books I can get. I'm not sure how well it'll work, but he's going to try, and let's just see how that goes. Let's just see how that goes. Okay, the first one is the other book that I'm reading right now. It's called Havenfall by Sarah Holland. Um, the little snippet that it gives to get you into it is, a safe haven between four realms and the girl sworn to protect it at any cost. I saw this on TikTok and I thought it sounded so good. And as you can see, I've already got a little bookmark in it. I, that is not, I haven't quite started reading it yet. So there's my bookworm. But I just went ahead and put a bookmark in it. So this one's fixing to be read. I might do a review on it. I might not. If you want me to, uh, let me know in the comments. And I'll have a list of all the books that I'm fix I'm doing a review on um, down in the description below. So just let me know. Okay? And if you want me to do a review on any of them, just let me know. The next book is another by Chris Colfer. Ooh, I still have the price ticket on it. Oops. Hold on. Eh, I got it the best off. Okay. It's called A Tale of Magic by Chris Colfer. It is in a world where magic is outlawed, Bristol Evergreen's life is about to change forever. Um, I love Chris Colfer. I loved him as an actor. I love him as a singer. I love him as Kirk um, Hummel and in Glee. That's the main reason why I got his other series. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> a Land of Stories. <laughs> but I saw this and I'm like, that's a well-written book. I want to see this one. So, I'm kind of excited for this one. Alright, this next one has a bit of a story behind it. And it kind of annoys the crap out of me. I bought these three books about six months ago. The Dorothy Must Die series. I got the first one. The prequel to the first one. And what I now know as is the third one. I didn't realize that was the third book. Okay, I thought this was the series because I didn't have the other one. Well, I found this one at Books A Million a couple, uh, about a week ago. So that collection is finally complete, or, well, it's not complete. There's one right, there's a couple more after this one. But I now have the first three and one of the prequel stories because there's this is volume one with the prequel the Dorothy must die stories that's a prequel so I have the first three I did not want to start reading it until I could find the second one that's why I haven't started reading these yet but I am looking forward to it the premise of these is I didn't ask for any of this I didn't ask to be some kind of hero but when your whole life gets swept up by a tornado asking, taking you with it, you have no choice but to go along, you know? Sure, I've read these books, I've seen the stories, but I've never expected Oz to look like this. A place where good witches, good witches can't be trusted, and wicked witches just might be the good guys. A place where the yellow, even the yellow brick road is crumbling. What happened, Dorothy? My name is Amy Gum, and I'm the other girl from Kansas. I've been recruited by the Revolutionary Order of the Wicked, and I've been given a mission. Remove the tin, tin Man's Wooden Heart? 
or the Tin Woodman's heart, steal the Scarecrow's brain, take the Lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. That is the premise of these books. These books are by Danielle Page. I read the back of this one, and I'm like, that just sounds so good. So I'm very excited to read that. And now I have the series. Or I had the first three in the series. Very excited to read it. Okay. Um, if y'all know Disney, you know that they've got, there's a little series going on where they tell the stories of the villain. Like, why the villains are the way they are. The untold stories of the villains. Well, this is called The Odd Sisters. You can't really read it. The Odd Sisters, A Tale of Three Witches by Serena Valentino. This is basically the story of the three witches that influenced the um, evil villains of Disney. Also, check this out. Okay, you see the front of this uh, dust cover, right? This is the book without the dust cover. The Poison Apple and the Core. It's really cool. Now, I have read the the one about the Beast, and it is very good. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but one of the witches is involved in it, from what I can understand. And I'm very glad to get this book because it'll tell the story of those three witches. Okay, and that, like I said, is by Serena Valentino. The next, my best friend actually recommended it to me. And my best friend is someone who doesn't read a lot because, one, she's got two kids. A five-year-old and an almost four-year-old. So, she doesn't get a lot of time to read. So, but she recommended this, The Nine Lives of Chloe King. I've been thinking about getting this book by Liz Braswell for a while. This is all three of the books. It includes The Fallen, The Stolen, and The Chosen. So this is the full series. And it just sounds like it's going to be good. And if my best friend's going to recommend it and say that it's a good series, I'll try anything. This one I got at Barnes Books a Million, by the way. Um... Another book that I don't have with me right now is called a Hazel, uh, Hazelwood, I believe it is. My best friend has it. <laughs> she went with me to Books A Million a few days ago, and because I was driving, she decided to just reach back and grab one of the books to start reading while I was driving, and <laughs> she got through about two and a half chapters. <laughs> By the time we got back to her house, because uh, the from her house to the closest books a million is an hour. Well, I'm like, okay, fine. You can just just use it and let me know if you like it. And if because I know she got pulled into it, it's gonna be a good book. Because like I said, it's hard to pull her into a book, and then to keep her attention. And hopefully, she'll be able to finish it before her before her sons came home. So, I will let you know on that one. I don't have it with me. It is not in my inventory yet. So, I'll let you know on that one. The next one is by Erica Waters. It is Ghostwood Song. This is her first ever published work. And this is the book that I actually got in my July Magical Reads crate box. Okay, it's called the theme with Southern Songs. It came with a little pouch, um, some socks, an enamel pin that I actually, I actually collect in the enamel pins. So I might show you that collection sometime. And then it came with a Broadway inspired canvas bag and this book. This book also came with a sticker that has her autograph. And I've already put it in there. And then this is a note from Erica Waters thanking you for getting the book. So I'm very excited to read this. I'm not normally a mystery re book reader, but the fact that this takes place in the Deep South 
I live in Mississippi. I live in the legit smack dab middle of the state, Mississippi. I'm excited to read this. Also, the premise of it is basically um, bluegrass, bluegrass music, which I do like. So I'm very excited to read that one. Um, the next is Evercursed by Corey and Haydu. The little thing that's supposed to pull you in on the back is, Once upon a time, there were five enchanted princesses. One witch in search of justice, one queen trapped in a glass box, and a quest to find, a clock from the oldest, a tear from the saddest, a lock of hair from the most beautiful, a crown from the richest, to break the curse. But the kingdom of Ever is under a spell, far more threatening than cast by any witch. From what I can tell of this is an extremely feminist book. They go against the patriarchy of the kingdom, and it just sounds like it's going to be really good. Um, next is, again, when you're on TikTok and you're re watching a video for recommendations of books, and the basic, the most, they give the most basic description of the book to get you to get it, and... The line that they give for this book is a magical library. You get that book. Okay, it this is Sorcery of Thorns by Mar Margaret Rogerson. It has a bunch of book of the year awards. Um, an Amazon best book, Kirkus best book, New York Public Library top 10 books for teens. A book page best book of the year and an indie next top 10 picks. This is gonna be good. Okay. Also, that cover, like, really? That's really freaking pretty. So I'm excited for this. Again, when the description that the girl gives you is a magical library, you get the book. Also, I found this at Books a Million, Barnes and Noble. All the books that I'm showing, I either got at Walmart. <laughs> Don't judge me. Books a Million or Barnes and Noble. And a, a few of them I got off of BarnesandNoble.com. So still technically Books a Million. This one I just got the other day at Books Barnes and Noble. I got this one at Barnes and Noble. I remember. It's called Hood. Uh, one Girl, One Shot, A Legend in the Making, Hood, Jen, Jen, by Jenny Elder Mo, Mo, Moki. Not sure how you say it. It's basically about Robin Hood and Maid Marian's daughter. Who doesn't know she's, made, she's Robin Hood's daughter. So, I am excited. This is going to be next on my list after Havenfall. Or, well, no, it's not. I forgot I have my to be read list right here for the for the rest of the year. Um, there's 20 books on it. I want to try and finish it before December or at, till before the new year. So, it's not on there yet. It will be. Next is a classic. Everybody's probably read it, and I read it. But, to be honest, there's the price sticker still on it. I'm trying to get it off. To be honest, I kind of preferred the movie. Don't come at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just thought it was the... To be honest, I haven't fully read the book. Okay, so I have, I don't have, I didn't have that going in to see the movies. Okay, don't judge me. I'm sorry. I did get it to read it. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. If you don't know this book, you should. Again, I haven't read it properly. And I'm going to now. <laughs> so. This is going to be a good one. 
Um, but I did love the movies. I love Jennifer Lawrence's Katniss. And because I've read, I've seen the movies before I saw this, I'm going to picture Kat, uh, Jennifer Lawrence. And what's his name? Josh something who plays PETA. Liam Hemsworth as um, Gail, but I forgot Josh. Josh Henderson. Josh. No, wait. Is it Henderson? I can't remember his name. I feel really bad. But I'm going to be picturing those three as the characters in this book. I already know it. Elizabeth Banks as Effie. And I'm just, it's going to be good. It's going to be hilarious in my head. I'm sorry. But yes, that is also on my list to read. Next is, well, I have, I have two piles of books here. <laughs> That's why I keep reaching forward. Spell. This is the first of a series, which is called the, what is it called? What's the series called? Hold on, where'd it go? I had, I thought there was a picture of it. Oh, there we go. The Storybaker series. Okay, this is the first of it. They are about the these are wizard of oz the first part the little mirror thing up here says somewhere over the rainbow a spell is about to break loose all spell is about to break loose and i'm really excited to read this um this is by betsy show i think i'm forgetting to say the uh name of the author i apologize i'm going to put a I'm gonna put an entire list of all the books I'm talking about here down below in the description so if I forget to say the author's name just check down below and you'll see it I, I'm not gonna say promise I'm gonna try to remember to <laughs> so um, next by Natasha Nagin is Girls of Paper and Fire and I've been actually thinking of getting this one because the back of it, the, the back gives a little thing on it. And it caught my attention multiple times. And I'm like, okay, I finally just need to get it. It's in my land, we're known as paper girls. Easily torn, existing only for others to use and discard. But there's something they've, they've all forgotten about paper. It can light the world on fire and make it burn. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I just slammed that down. I'm sorry. Okay. The next five are some that I got off. The all five of them are some that I got off of um, BarnesandNoble.com. The first is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. And... It says, A Girl in Disguise, Three Legendary Dresses, A Competition of a Lifetime. It's basically a Mulan retelling. And Mulan is my favorite Disney princess. And I'm really excited. The series is called The Blood of Stars. The next one is called Unravel the Dusk. I do not have it yet because I want to read this one first. But again, TikTok made me. <laughs> okay, then I have, what else do I have here? Wait, don't I have one more? Yeah, here we go. I don't know why that, my, my books are all mixed up and I don't know why. Okay, this one is part, these, the rest of these are part of the Disney A Twisted Tale series. This one is the Cinderella, it is So This Is Love. What if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper? And it basically is going to be, she loses the slipper or it breaks or something so she doesn't try it on. So, but wanting to get away from her life at her stepmother's, goes to be a seamstress at the castle and uncovers a plot. What's really good about this is because this is a Barnes & Noble exclusive. There's a Barnes & Noble exclusive chapter like there is an extra chapter in here that is a it's a prologue for this book 
It says, a, keep reading for a twisted prologue. I was so excited when I opened this, got this book out of the box for mail and saw that. I'm like, this is going to be good. I'm excited. Okay, the next one is the Ariel one. What if Ariel never defeated Ursula? Part of Your World by Liz Braswell. It's Ariel is Queen, the voiceless queen of Atlantica. Oh, no, I'm holding it up so I can read this. Um, but her father might still be alive. Ursula is ruling King Eric's kingdom. This is going to be good. Ariel is one of my favorite Disney princesses. And I, Ursula is probably one of the most uh, badass of them. Because have you seen the end of the movie? It's terrifying. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Hi. Hello. No, 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 no. My camera's turning. My dog hit it. Are we good? We're good. Okay. Okay. The next book. <laughs> I'm sorry. My camera is just turning, and I don't know why. I think my dog hit it. Mia, stop. Thank you. The next one is Conceal Don't Feel by Jen Kalanita. It's what if Anna and Elsa never knew each other. I think this one also does it. Does this one have? Oh. This one also has a exclusive chapter in the back. Does part of your world? Hold on. No. Part of your world does not. But this one does. Um, this one is. Says. As the future queen of Arendelle. Uh. Princess Elsa has a lot of expectations, responsibilities. What kind of ruler will she be? Will she need a suitor? Um, but apparently, Anna is a lost princess. Anna is not in here. So, Elsa has to go find her. This is going to be good. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. The last of the Twisted Tale series that I have is... Okay. First off, let me tell you. My favorite Disney villain of all time is the queen from Snow White, the evil queen. Also Maleficent, but I'm not going to get into that. The evil queen of Snow White in the original story, she told the hunt huntsman to bring her back Snow White's heart. And in the story, she has the, her cook cook the boar's heart that the, <laughs> sorry, that the huntsman brings her, and then she eats it. If that's not evil, I don't know what is. It's going to be good. This one is, What if the Evil Queen Poisoned the Prince? Mirror Mirror by Jen Kalanita. Um, basically, it goes on down that it goes on down the story to the point where the plot to kill her, to kill Snow White, goes wrong. Everything changes. And then, it, this is just going to be good. I'm really excited to read this one. And it's just, oh my god. Yes. Mwah. This one is actually on my list for um, the year, for the rest of the year. Mirror, mirror. And I'm so excited. Me. I need to go through this list and make a, like, do a, um, when I'm going to read it one. So, yeah, I need to do that. Okay. The next one is called The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. The blurb, blurb, okay, before somebody calls me out on this, blurb is what I call this on the back of it. Okay. Don't 
judge me. I don't care. That's what I call it. Okay, this one's called The Lady Rogue by Jen Bennett. It says, The Ring of Vlad the Impaler was itself a legend, but the man who wore it was even more so. It wasn't just a random piece of jewelry. The ring was an occult talisman formed for a malicious medieval organization known as the Order of the Dragon. It was rumored to imbue its wearer with a dark magical power, cursed, if one believed there was any grain of truth in the story that surrounded it and its most notorious owner, Vlad the Impaler, Prince of Romania, better known as Vlad Dracula, son of the dragon. This is going to be good. Anybody who knows me personally will tell you. I love dragons. They are so cool. Actually, I'm going to pause the video really quick. This is the book that got me interested in dragons when I was younger. Right here. The, Ra the Dragons in Our Midst series by Brian Davis. I got this book out of the church library when I was younger and this is the book that got me into dragons and it is incredible it really is I'm I'm wanting to get the rest of this series to reread it because it's so good and it is a Christian book because like I said I got it at the church library it is a Christian book but it goes all the way back to Merlin and King Arthur and it has dragons that have turned human, that turn back into dragons. I am so happy with this book. It is the reason I love books like this with dragons because dragons are the coolest mythological creature in the world. And yes, that is why Goblet of Fire is my favorite book, The Dragons. Anyway, get off the dragon tangent. I need to anyway. Okay. That. Okay. And finally, the last book I got, month of August. Told you about it last week. Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. Um, with my book, with my review of Twilight and Life of Death. I'm excited to read this one. Thing is, you're, you might think me weird. I don't want to read this yet. I am not going to read this book until I'm done rereading the Twilight series. And I will do a review on this book, but only after I have done one on New Moon, Eclipse, and my favorite of the series, Breaking Dawn. Okay? Okay. So, if y'all want, I will put, like I said earlier, I will put the entire list of the books that I, I, I told you about today, down in the description. If you want me to do any review on any of the books, or you want me to talk about it on my TikTok, we'll do. Um, just let me know, and I will see about doing a review for it. Um... I will put this entire series down there because I did talk about the entire series. I will put the I will put this one down there as well in case you want to read it. Um, this is a good starter book for um, kids, but it because it does um, it does explain things in Christianity and all that, and it's just. A really good book. Brian Davis is an incredible author with this. He's got a couple of series with these characters. Dragons in Our Mist is, is the first series where you meet all the characters and then the rest of them are uh, are different. But you it's really good. I highly recommend this for a kid, for an adult, for a teenager, anyone. And like I said, this is the first book, and I actually cannot wait to reread it. 
When was this book published? This book was published in 2004, so. Yes, it is a little beat up. Don't judge me. So, if y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to know when my next video goes up, when my next video goes up, because I have a set video every other third Friday, and then any other video that I make will go up randomly. You never know when it's going to go up, so just click the bell, and from what I understand, you have to um, click it and put on notifications for all when you want to get notified, notified for my next video. So, oh, ignore my little, my little paw. He protects my straw. And thirsty. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it if you want to. Like I said, if you want a review for any of these books, let me know. And I will see y'all all next week. I hope you're being kind to each other. I hope you're being safe. And I hope your story is unfolding the way you want it to. Bye, guys.